Hello, I'm back. I forgot to say something in the last part of the video. I mentioned the Grace Hopper um, Celebration of Women in Computing Conference, which is in um, at the Oregon Conference Center this week. And, um, and hopefully, this is the first time it's ever been held, but um, I believe people are hoping it, it will be an annual event. Um, in any case, I forgot to mention who Grace Hopper was. Grace Hopper is one of the pioneers and um, founders of computer science as we know it today. She, um, back in the early, early days of computing, uh, during World War II, they took a group of women mathematicians and made them programmers. And uh, so all the early uh, programmers were uh, female mathematicians. Grace Hopper was one of those. She had a PhD in mathematics. She had taught mathematics at Vassar or um, at a couple colleges. And um, she, during World War II, she became a wave, went into the Navy. She got associated with the early computers, became a computer programmer back in the old days when everything was being programmed in machine language and it was a very complex field. Um, in the 1950s, she had the idea, well, many people had the idea that you could form computer languages. And there was a rush of people trying to invent computer languages. Um, one of those langu well, the first language to be invented was uh, Fortran, which was a language that looked very much like algebra. It was done, uh, invented by mathematicians for the mathematical community. Grace Hopper had the concept that we needed another language that was more oriented towards business users and uh, people doing administrative work, and that um, it should be much less mathematical. It should look like English. And she basically, she was the father, I guess she was the mother, of a language called COBOL, which was the second computer language invented. It came out in the late 1950s. And um, it was a language that, um, or is a language that is much more English-like in syntax. Since I come out of scientific programming, I've really never programmed in COBOL. I suppose I wrote my mandatory one program, and that's it. And that was 30 years ago. Um, but um, COBOL is, um, has been very popular for uh, business programming. And that's where most programming is. So there's probably more lines of COBOL than any other language in the world. I really don't know. But COBOL has been a very popular language for uh, uh, business and administrative um, programming. Like Fortran, COBOL is used to this day. And um, uh, Grace Hopper went on to do a lot of other things in computer science. Um, I believe most of her work was on the administrative and the database, a database side of computing. Um, um, and she was always associated with the Navy. She had some problems with the Navy in that um, at that time, there wasn't much role for women in the Navy. But she managed to find a role because she was very talented. And um, later in her life, they actually, she was appointed an admiral in the US Navy. She was the first female to be appointed an admiral in the US Navy. Um, I guess um, she died in 1992. And um, um, she's buried at Arlington National Cemetery. So with that, I will end this portion of the, of the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.